we will discuss now the chapter one, which is what is finance, no? Finance grow out of economics and accounting. So this is part of the CPA board exam, part of the um, MAS. So please listen carefully about our discussion. So this is anchored or patterned to the book of Brigham, Eugene Brigham and Joel Houston. So I'm your discussant, Professor Rebecca McKeeling. Okay, so let's start. So what is finance? Finance is part of business activities that aim to create value to firm, maximize limited resources, and manage risk for greater return. We know that we have some limited resources. We have limited cash. We have limited time. We have also limited skills. So we need to maximize it. And we want also to manage the risk no? to, to achieve greater profit or greater return or to maximize performance, no? to make it efficient and effective. So finance talk about how to create value on how to maximize those resources and of course just to get a higher return okay so we have economic perspective of finance and accounting perspective you say economic perspective uh, we define asset based on the future cash flow the asset will provide while in the accounting perspective we define asset as the resources owned, managed, and controlled by the enterprise, which we are accustomed to, diba? Right? We base the asset based on the historical cost. The resources owned, like cash, accounts receivable, those are asset in accounting perspective. Uh, inventory, PPE, those are asset. While in finance, we base the asset based on the future cash flow so meaning we consider the time value of our money because our value the value of our money today is different from the value of our money in the future so the purchasing power of our money so we base our asset on the future cash flow of the asset that will provide in the future okay so what are the nature of finance? So we have three areas in finance. First is financial management. Second is capital market. And third is investment. So financial management, we say corporate finance. So it focuses more on decisions relating to how much and what type of assets to acquire, how to raise the capital needed, and how to maximize its value. So it's, it is more on capitalization. No? On, on what particular investment you want, uh, what asset you want, what um, portfolio you, you want to acquire, or how to raise your capital, no? whether you base it on your own pocket or you will leverage your capital from other resources or you, you uh, uh, have some obligation just to raise some capital just to maximize also its value so that is financial management okay next capital market so it refers to markets where interest rates along with stock and bonds bond prices are determined say banks investment banks stock hold stockholders mutual funds insurance companies and the like bring together savers who have money to invest and businesses that need capital for various purposes so those next investment so investment relates to decisions concerning stock and bonds and include a number of activities so we have security analysis finding proper values of individual securities we have also the portfolio theory you know this is the best way to, to structure your portfolio or baskets of stock and bonds so meaning do not put all your eggs in one basket no so just add put it on several baskets so high risk low risk so you need to manage it no? part of finance is investment so here we will analyze we have market analysis 
we will ally, we will analyze the stock, the bond markets at any given time, whether they are too high, too low, or about right. Since we need to buy that that stocks or that investment, and then sell it, no, when it is about right to sell those kind of investment, so that we will gain profit and we will gain um, returns, higher returns. Okay, so thank you. So we discuss what is finance. We discuss the nature of finance. So see you on our next discussion recording. Okay.